hello guys so in uh, this video tutorial i'm just going to tell you about fuzzy logic and how we can use that fuzzy logic in uh, machine learning okay so let me start this uh, if you generally uh, want to know what do you mean by fuzzy if someone asks you what is fuzzy so fuzzy is normally a clear definition that if something is not clear if you cannot give uh, exact answer of something say i'm asking you would you like to come with me you will normally have some clear answers yes i will come with you or no sorry I, I cannot come with you so you have two exact answers either yes or no but in that case that we will say it's it's crisp boundary it's normally the thing that we are usually learning from previous many years but if we are talking about machine learning how machine can learn as humans do or how machine can react as humans do in that case we need a separate concept because humans never uh, us, normally not never but sometimes there are situation in which you cannot say that exactly yes or no could be the answers there could be some variations of answers and that is what fuzzy logic is or fuzzy is if you are talking about fuzzy logic then fuzzy logic is a method of reasoning say how human mind reason how it give reason of something or how it give answer of something how it recognize the things so there are not the crisp answers of that always so in that case uh, it, it's basically the approach of fuzzy logic is uh, how human minds make decisions okay how you just decide what you have to do okay in that case you must have to get some different values some intermediate values that will not exactly yes or no so that is what the fuzzy is okay we have already learned uh, many mathematical languages like relational algebra boolean algebra predicate algebra and same we have another algebra that is called fuzzy algebra in fuzzy logic it basically deals with the fuzzy sets that means you have to understand the concepts of fuzzy sets and operations uh, to understand how fuzzy logic work as i was discussing that there is a concept of crisp if you are giving the clear answer in terms of yes and no if the in terms of one and zero then it will say it's a crisp okay so if you have some clear answer of any question some clear thing of any any problem in that case that will be the crisp one okay say you are having an example will you come with me to the market today your crisp answers will be either yes or no but generally if we will talk about human thinking if you will talk about human answering then it could have different answers like yes absolutely i will come with you may not be maybe and absolutely no so these are different options uh, out of them absolutely yes is the total membership or uh, the complete acceptance of the question and absolutely no is complete non acceptance of the questions but in between we have some other answers and that what fuzzy logic deals with secondly we have another questions that is ram honest you could have some specific or clear answers true or false yes or no one and zero this is how the boolean algebra or boolean logic work and before uh, machine learning or before fuzzy logic all computers or machines work with boolean logic but what we can do in fuzzy logic is precisely we can give different kind of answers as a human can give like as ram honest it is extremely honest that is the membership value of one very honest 0.5 0.85 sometimes on it 0.35 and extremely dishonest 0.0 right so these are the different values that we are giving that is the membership value that we are giving on the basis of which we are defining which, which we are giving that how clear how close that particular person or particular answer is towards the question and that is what the beauty of fuzzy logic how it works for working we have simple steps we will have some input we will convert it into fuzzy elements then we will create some fuzzy sets then there will be fuzzy rules on the basis of fuzzy rules we will have some fuzzy implications or inferences then we will create a fuzzy system that will give us the output how this system is completely going to work that will discuss in further lectures as we have discussed that there is a need of fuzzy sets to understand the concept of fuzzy logic 
So what fuzzy set is? If you are talking about classical set theory, a subset A of set X, here A is a subset and X is a set. How can we define it by its characteristic function? That is termed as X A here. That is a mapping from element of X to the elements of set 0 and 1. See, this is very important. That is the mapping of element of X to the element of 0 and 1. That means if you want to find it out that if some element of subset A is there in set X, then that element will be mapped with 0 or 1. That means if 0 is there, that means it is not uh, the member of A. And if it is 1, that means yes, it is. Okay. So X is if X is mapped with 0 or 1. For example, X is a set of all natural numbers and A is a set of all even numbers. So how we are representing it if any even number is there in that in, in, in X or not. So it is set of ordered pairs with exactly one ordered pair present for each element of X. The first element of ordered pair is an element of set X and the second element of uh, second element is an element of set 0 or 1. So if I am saying 1 comma 0, 1 comma 0 means key 1 is not the member of this. That means it is not an even number. 2 comma 1 will represent that 2 is the member of subset. That means 2 is an even number. Right. So x is in A that is represented by that membership function. Okay. So we will represent that like this 1 comma 0, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 0, 4 comma 1. So 0 and 1 are two specific values. But what about fuzzy sets? As we have discussed that fuzzy normally do not mean 0 and 1. There will be some intermediate values. And that intermediate values will represent some intermediate degrees of membership. We will have 1 for complete non-complete membership. We will have 0 for complete non-membership. And we will have some intermediate values for uh, intermediate degree of membership that will represent how uh, closely it is related to the complete acceptance or complete non-acceptance. Okay. So, for example, you can see this is for the speed of a car. X comma 0. X is the speed, the actual speed of the car. It is, it has some intermediate values like 0 0.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0. Okay. They are representing that how closer they are to any specific value. Okay. So, X comma 0 means it is completely stopped and X comma 1 means it is very fast speed. So different values are mapping them and they are representing that it is having different speeds. And if you are talking about the crisp, as you can we can have the crisp and fuzzy uh, set differences, then if it is a case of crisp boundaries, that means it will have only two values, one and zero. Okay, crisp set can be fuzzy because we are having the value of complete membership and complete non-membership here in terms of one and zero. But fuzzy cannot be crisp because in fuzzy, we definitely have some intermediate values in that one. Okay, so crisp to have some strict boundaries, either yes or no, but fuzzy to have boundaries with a degree of membership, different different degree of membership. So guys, this specific video is all about general introduction of fuzzy sets and fuzzy logic. In next video tutorial, we will discuss different operations on fuzzy sets. So till then, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.